I'm often asked with respects to what are the different types of heavy metal tests that you can do for your child. And there's a lot of them. We have hair, stool, urine, and blood. They all give an indication of exposure and they all give an indication of sort of what is coming out of your child. The only limitation is they don't tell you how much is left behind. Okay? So we have a profile called a porphyrin profile. A porphyrin profile is a urine test that actually measures for the toxicity of, of heavy metals. What is that heavy metal like mercury or lead, the toxic effect that it's actually having at the cell level in your child's body? And that's very useful. What are porphyrins? Um, we have a chemical in our body called heme. Heme is what makes up hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is what carries oxygen. Okay, and also in order for our brain to get oxygen, we have to have heme. Porphyrins are chemical byproducts, if you will. Think of porphyrins as like a factory line. The end product is heme. But all along the way, we create different porphyrins. And all along those steps, those different steps can be interfered with by certain heavy metals or chemicals. On the typical porphyrin tests that are done, there's usually six different porphyrins that are measured. And if one porphyrin is elevated, it usually, that's the, that, that area is a problem area. It generally means that there's something interfering, whether it's a heavy metal or a chemical toxin, at that level. If that level is normal, then the process is working just fine. What the porphyrin test is really telling us is it's telling us the, the toxic effect that these metals, like mercury and lead, are actually having at the cell level. That's why it's so important. It's certainly, it's a test that indicates the presence that the metal is there, okay? But we get that by doing a hair, doing a you know, blood test, or even doing a fecal test. What we're measuring with the porphyrin profile is we're actually looking at the level of toxicity that that metal is having. The, the only issue with these heavy metal tests is there is no one, me there is no one test that tells you absolute levels in the body. You're, you're, you're not gonna get that information. You can determine how much is coming out. You can determine what you've been exposed to. You can determine how toxic that particular metal is being in your child's body, but you're not going to be able to determine how much of it is there.